Yes, uh, you know, it's also um, quite interesting to note that these incidents have actually taken place in APC states. And then, you know, we see that the parties do not want violence, but have you heard anybody condemn the, the incidents? In Kaduna, did you hear El Rufai condemn? Did, did you hear Bola Tinubu himself, the candidate of the APC, condemn the incident in Kaduna or in, in Medjugorje where you have Zulu? Did you hear him come out to condemn the attack on Atiku's convoy? The answer is no. The problem with politicians is that when the, it's election season, they want to win by all means. They may not tell their supporters to go out and attack other candidates, you know, but the point is that their body language suggests that they have absolutely no problem with it happening to, to the PDP. I mean, if this were, I mean, Peter B was in a PDP state just a few days ago, and, you know, you didn't hear anybody attack anybody or uh, PDP supporters clash with, with uh, Labour Party supporters. The, the problem with APC is that they say one thing and they do another thing. And I think it's, you know, quite unfortunate, really, that in, in this time and, you know, and space that we still have these kind of incidents, convoys getting attacked. I had a friend that was in, in, in the Atiku convoy in Meduguri, uh, and he confirmed to me immediately after the incident that the bus was attacked. In fact, people had glass in their arms and in their face. And I think it's just unacceptable I think also you don't hear the president condemning it and reinstating the fact that he wants this to be a peaceful election. So, you know, it's going to be a free for all at the end of the day because people are going to feel they need to protect themselves. And, you know, this is not the kind of situation we need right now. But then there is also the fact that, I mean, well, Mr. Fale is here to hold the brief for his own party. But then it is only natural for politicians, as you said, to throw blames as well. It's the fault of the opposition and all of that. And, but your party, following the attack on the article convoy, blamed straight away the APC without, I don't know, was any investigation conducted to find out whether or not such a thing happened by the APC members? I mean... You, you do know that even though it's an APC state, that there are PDP people in that state who are also, you know, in the space. So they must have got some sort of credible information from people on the ground as to, you know, the attacks that took place. I think there were videos circulating showing, you know, Kekena peps and uh, motorcycles that were packed, you know, deliberately or alleged to be packed deliberately to forestall the campaign taking place. I think that um, also, you also heard the body language of the police saying that no attack took place, even though there was video evidence that such had happened. So you see, when you have this kind of situation where people are not speaking truth to power or, you know, saying what, what they see has happened, or, I mean, the police could, could have said, oh, we're not sure we're going to investigate. But up till now, which is probably about a week, we haven't heard anything. Well, know, uh, you know, on that, on that I can very quickly tell you that the IG has come out to at a press conference, of, well, you were, I think it was even at the State House, that he made that comment yeah. and said, look, well, the, what, what the statement that came from the police in Medugri may not be completely correct. However, they have set up a panel to investigate exactly what happened, and they'll get back to us yes. on that one. But let me just... I, just, I, just I, I heard the IG say that, but I'm not talking about okay. what the IG said. Like, okay. You see, the problem with this government is that you know, there's so much indiscipline. Somebody will say one thing. The person who made that statement to say that it was there was no attack, was he reprimanded? We don't know. It's been a week now, like I'm saying, I still haven't heard any reports. It doesn't take a, a month to investigate something that happened, you know, a fracas that happened. You could just go there, make some you know, inquiries. The you reason I made that or... comment to you, Mr. Kuti, is that you mm -hmm. said you hadn't heard anything, but you didn't quote the fact well, that what, IG what had I mean, made that I mean, comment. I the police come out to say that but they the are, IG you know, is the police. Isn't that so? that there was an attack. Isn't and that... start from there. Isn't the IG say, police okay, enough? Look, we have confirmed now that there was an attack. Mr. Kuti, can you hear me? And we are starting to find out who did it. Mr. Kuti, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry. Isn't the IGP police enough? To make that statement? He didn't come out fair enough to say that, yes, they were going to investigate. But the, my point is still that we still don't know if there was an attack or not from the, from the side of the police. Okay. They haven't admitted there was an attack. And they haven't said to us, oh, we found the culprits or we're looking for the culprit. We haven't had an update is what I'm saying. Okay. And it doesn't take a week 
to investigate something very simple like this. It's not a, you know, a murder case or anything like that. It's just a, you know, plain attack. There were videos, you know, circulated. You know, intelligence gathering, you can tell what had happened. You know, but I believe, you know, and, and there's nobody that can, you know, change my mind that it was obviously a planned attack. People just don't wake up with in, in, Don't forget that the convoy also had policemen in the convoy. So people don't just wake up and attack a convoy without thinking about the repercussions. Okay. I don't think that uh, it, it's nice for the polity at the moment. Okay.